What's up guys, Gunner Fan, welcome back. And today we're looking at this guy. What was that? I am gun. Alright. Oh man, it feels like ages since I've done a video, so here we are. Right, this was sent to me by Nautilus over at Mecca Hangar. Um, it was a complete surprise to me. I didn't know it was coming. Um, the guy is an absolute legend. He's uh, he's uh, stuck with me for a while now. And um, yeah, he's, he sent me something to check out. Um, I could say this is sponsored because uh, it didn't cost me nothing. Um, so I'm going to be building this on stream soon. Um, so link to the store will be down below. Uh, he will serve, be servicing Europe, um, some UK, but predominantly Europe, um, because of the shipping and um, other bits and pieces to get stuff from Ireland to the UK is a bit of a, a ball ache, I think. However, um, give it a go. Check the channel out. Uh, check the store out, um, and say I sent you. Uh, but if you're in the if you're in the uh, EU, because he's in Ireland, if you're in the EU um, or international. Uh, he'll be able to service you guys a lot easier. Um, but yeah, you know, in more details, just check out the website and go from now. Anyway, that out of the way, uh, this is my first motor nuclear kit um, that I'll be checking out. Uh, I think it was like the Aerobing or the Bow, um, the, the Blue Dragon was the um, what was one of the first ones that, that was on my radar that I fancied uh, building. But that's just sort of like. Uh, the water is uh, passed under the bridge, but hopefully that will uh, arrive on my desk um, to check out one day. Uh, but for now, uh, this does look like a solid start. There's some anime here. Um, I don't know if this is from a show. I don't know anything about this uh, particular model, uh, but it does come with four uh, different styles. A uh, plane, um, an owl face. It looks like geisha um, or some sort of traditional mask i <laughs> i don't know too much about it but is it an oni is it like based on oni um i'm not sure uh you know comments down below if you know more about that sort of stuff i don't want to offend anyone or be wrong uh so yeah educate me let me know uh but it does come with a crossbow uh which i think is a pistol it transforms which is kind of cool uh it folds away I, either that we get two i'm not sure uh, it does come with a really nice long sword uh, and a shield and some effect parts by the looks of it for the uh, the cod piece or the, the, the drape or whatever you want to call it. Uh, really, really nice box art. Uh, feels really pa well packaged and I've heard nothing but good things about Motor Nuclear as a company. Their plastics, their kits and everything are really, really good. This is my first experience, so I haven't got a clue. Uh, but there it is. We're going to get it unboxed. We're going to have a look at it. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. So it looks like it tells you how to deal with undergating. Um, that'd be cool if they actually did their own brand of nippers. They might do. I'll have to pick one up if they do. Check them out. Instructions look very, very um, comprehensive. You know exactly what's going on. Which is nice. Tells you where, where to clip. And I like illustrative drawings um, that show you, like you know, how things are supposed to be. If you ever get like, like, like side profiles and and whatnot, it's, it helps the build process, uh, so it's less vague. So it does. It's a very well 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 printed um, 
manual so far. So it does come with buildable hands and there's quite a few options there by the looks of it. One, two, three, four. There's, there's five options each hand, which is nice. And I'm hoping you only have to build the actual wrist and hand part once and just swap out the thumbs and the, the hand options, which it saves pulling that the hand out and weakening the um the uh the, the wrist the feet look like they've got a nice swivel but i don't know much about like the toe bed and stuff once i built it uh which i'll be building on the stream we'll have a look at the articulation um and so on everything looks like it's going to go together really clean uh it's a well thought out model uh doesn't need any paint but I, I, I don't believe all colored plastic and we'll find out just how good and it comes with an action stand as well that's cool didn't realize that did not realize it come with an action display stand as well considering um it's a ground type um like mecha um much like gridman or uh, you know, I was going to say Aquaman. You know who I meant. Uh, the clear pieces, uh, which do have a silver backing. Um, so if you do have uh, any sort of um, clear or translucent plastics, um, putting a silver backing to them may or may not help with any sort of light like light transfer and, and bouncing lights off but it doesn't seem to be doing much here so it is an option um but certainly having an led touch it uh, within the kit is going to be a better, better option to make it shine a bit better uh, these translucent pieces look really really nice and solid and they're not on a tree so no nub removal or cleanup so that's really good i will inspect them though because it does have paint down the edges um so obviously it's been cut off prepped and painted and then bagged so that's kind of cool that they've actually they've actually done some of it for you uh, they do look really clean i don't see any sort of nub marks or raised areas where they haven't cleaned it up very properly uh, very properly uh, very well so it does look like they've gone the extra mile and they look good <clears throat> same with these parts as well uh, they have been painted with some paint apps on here um, so by the looks of it and there's a painted part there by the looks of it uh, apart from maybe a wash and panel lining uh, maybe even some color correction if you wish uh, this this kit, uh, kit does not require any paint yeah, there's, there's paint apps all over the thing, so, you know, it's going to have all the details that you will, you would want. Um, you might want to paint the only mask and certain parts to maybe a green of your liking. But, yeah, it's been painted on the sprue, um, but it is undergated, so it should be all right. Uh, especially if it goes on something else, you won't see the, the marking. Here's the action an action display stand and some... I don't know whether these are dry rubs or stickers or... Or um, water slides, I'm not sure. I'm assuming they're water slides, so you cut them off. Yeah, they're probably water slides. There's paint all over this thing in terms of little details, um, highlights and stuff. That's a really nice uh, design that. That look really well with the wash and do the eyebrows and the fangs. Maybe a bit of bronze to go with the green, because green and bronze go together really well. Or copper, you know, some sort of like uh, soft metal. The sword. Uh, unfortunately, 
painted uh, on the sprue and when you cut the blade you are going to see uh, the plastic underneath unfortunately so that's a bit of a letdown seeing that I hate when they do that um, it's a shame that they can't put the injection ports inside where there's some detail inlay there um, so they could probably possibly put the injection port inside and then you just sand down and put the um, the inlay in and in the, you know the blades not damaged in any way but it is what it is i'm pretty sure this this uh, blue gray is really hot easy to find and imitate there's a lot of smaller parts here the plastic looks really nice as well um it looks better than uh Mojoy's plastic I've built a few Mojoid kits, so I really am a little bit on the fence with them. Uh, the same with Kotobukiye, but Kotobukiye are, they are, you know, by and large, four model makers, aren't they? you got you got to paint them kits. Kotobukiye aren't really for straight building. Uh, the hand options here, got a whole sprue for the hands, and there's another one for the action display stand, which is kind of nice. Um, it's it's not over the top and it's it does what it needs to do so it's kind of cool and here we are comes with a inner frame that's pre-built in a nice little oh, it's not pre-built okay <laughs> a bag of bits so it's a nice little box though that's a nice treat I like that I like little boxes like that um it's metal and it's quite heavy uh, i wasn't expecting it to be metal i thought it was going to be plastic uh like abs throughout um but it does come with metal hinges uh these are uh resin abs like sorry um and it is a mixture of abs and metal uh with some pins they don't look like screws, so it looks like they've been pinned. I don't, you know, they will loosen over time. This plastic has got this horrible wax to it. Nasty. Got to wash my hands now. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. Uh, this, this sort of plastic that comes out of China is very waxy. Um, must be due to do with the manufacturing process. Oh, but it's some sort of silica that protects the metal from going, going rusty or something like that. <clears throat> but here, there we are. Loads of parts, loads of paint apps, loads of details. Um, it's, uh, it looks like it's more involved than I thought it was going to be because it does look like quite a simple um, model kit because it's just like an action figure. But uh, I wonder if there's like a team of these or or run. Um, this isn't just like the only one. <laughs> I like the, uh, the, it looks like a lion. Uh, or one of them dragons, you know, uh, the dragons that they have in, ja in Japan, the, uh, the ornamental dragons. I don't know what they're called, forgive me. Uh, but that face kind of reminds me of one of them. You know, them people that stand inside and uh, celebrations and stuff, uh, festivals, they have them, them uh, dragons. They're pretty cool. They're dragon dancing things. Uh, but I don't know what they're called. Uh, but yeah, here we are. Great kit so far. Uh, presentation is amazing. Really, really impressed, um, a barring the sword, but you know, they're not gonna get deducted points just because of one thing. Um, yeah, it can be forgiven, because like I say, it's a model kit. You, you know, you buy model kits to paint and customize and do things too, don't you? So there are a lot of money to just, you, you know, throw together and put on a shelf. Um, but yeah, there we go. The, the wage one, Tra trainee form. Oh, if it's the trainee form, is there a different version of this? Like I say, comments down below if you know more um, and let me know. Hook me up on, on Twitter and all the socials uh, for conversation and stuff like that. And think about joining the Discord, um, hosting a build off uh, starting on the 1st of July. So anyone that fancies joining um, the competition to win a master grade because it's three competition. Um, categories, uh, straight build, custom paint and kit bash. 
uh, winner is going to win a uh, winner of each co category is going to win a master grade so all the details are all on the discord so link is down below if you fancy joining uh, everyone's welcome uh, all skill levels welcome um and yeah that's it uh, get this kit if you want it uh link will be down below as to where you can get it from um like i say go over to make a hanger show him some love um he's only a small vendor and he's doing it as a little bit of a side project it's not like he's he's trying to compete with anyone or anything like that he's just he's got a you know he's got a love for gundam and gunplo and plamo and stuff like that and he fancies just um you know selling uh, bits and pieces out of out of ireland so nice guy really nice guy and um again thank you so much guys for the love and support and new followers and subscribers and stuff like that if you like the video give us a thumbs up i really appreciate it, it does help the channel and i've seen the analytics it is awesome and i'm growing yes not literally it's, it's like the morning but yes what a lovely day anyway guys i'll speak to you later Bye. because i have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt when they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card 